this video, I'm going to show you how to do a magic ring alternative. Some people really don't like to do a magic ring or a magic circle, they find it really fiddly. But some of the alternatives will leave you with this gap in the center of your work and that's what we want to eliminate and I'm going to show you how to do it today. So to remove this hole, it's actually really simple to do. It's a slight change that you're going to make, but it makes all the difference. So we're going to go ahead and um, make a slip knot on our finger and insert our crochet hook. Now, when you make your slip knot, just make sure that you do have a good tail end. And then for a magic ring alternative, you could go ahead and chain um, three. In this case, I'm going to chain four. And then you're going to join with a slip stitch into that very first chain. So this can work with all different stitches. I'm going to use a half treble as an example today. So once you've joined with a slip stitch to that very uh, first chain, you're going to be left with a center circle. I'm going to go ahead and chain two. That's going to count as my very first stitch. And then I'm going to work 11 half trebles all the way around because this first stitch is counting as a stitch. But you can do whichever stitch and however many stitches you need to do for this center circle. So I'm going to go ahead and yarn over and go into that stitch. Now the part that's important when it comes to doing this method is making sure that you're laying your tail over the hook so that you're crocheting it in as we go around. So I'm just going to do a half treble, which is a half double in US terms. And I've trapped that tail end in the work. I'm then going to do another one, again, making sure that tail end is laid down with the work or with the chain so that I'm crocheting over it as I go along. And I'm going to go ahead and work those 11 half treble crochets. Okay, so here's my 11 half treble crochets and I'm going to go ahead and join um, my first stitch to my last stitch with a slip stitch, fasten off and then pull out. So here we have our circle, but we still do have this hole in our work. Now, if you turn the work over, you can see that we have worked this tail end into that circle. And all we need to do here is pull. So I'm just going to pinch the, the hole and then pull on that tail end. And that is going to cinch in that center circle. Now, you might want to just give it another little wiggle to get it as closed as possible. And then I would also recommend that you take your darning needle. And then you're going to weave this in a little bit more so that we can further tighten this center circle. So just weave it under those stitches and then pull and going in the same direction, weave it under some more stitches and pull. And then once you're happy, you want to go back the other way. So you can see that there's a loop just here. We're going to miss that one and go back the other way. Just to secure that in. And then again, I'm going to go back the other way, miss a loop and go in. Once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and fasten off. And there we have taken this circle and turned it into this circle, which looks a lot more like a magic ring. So this is a really simple technique for those who don't like to make a magic ring. But if you are interested in learning how to do a magic ring, I have this really easy method in this video just here.